What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again for another episode of Gims Rant. Hope everyone had a good weekend, I know I did, it was my wife's birthday and um, it was really cool. We had a great time, nice and relaxing. Um, thank you for all those who did come for the member stream on Friday night, that turned out to be really good, it was a really good success as well. Thank you for all the donations, so appreciate all that as well guys. But this episode of Gims Rant is just focused around this mess right now that the community is sort of come to I guess um, it, it's it's definitely drawn out a lot of weird conversations that I've had personally um, with people in on YouTube um, on Twitter on the forums um, like for instance I've had this guy this Caleb guy who just insists on schooling me on how to play uh, this game and the people I play with um, and also how my judgment should be more pulled back and stuff like that just everyone's very moody um opinionated and, and that, that's fine as well but just to the point where you're being an absolute douchebag is probably a little bit too much but yeah i've had this guy along with many others just give me shit for how i judged him on ptb the blight on ptb compared to how i'm judging him now and just a lot of people need to get a little bit get a, get a clue i think i think it's getting a little bit ridiculous ever since the blight came out on had its official release, the DLC, I've really enjoyed him. I've got him to level 50 very quickly. I've got most of his perks. I'm only missing maybe five or six. Um, I've done the uh, Dirty Games and Results series, part one. Part two is going to be next, this uh, Saturday. And for the most part, I think most of you agree that I really enjoy him. Um, I have very high success with him, but he's still so misunderstood and I don't know why. And I'm a little bit confused because... I've watched other content creators, there's a couple of people that have really understood how to use him properly and sort of use him effectively. I'm not going to say that because that makes me sound like I'm elevating myself. Um, they've figured out how to use him um, and so have I, I guess, is, is the way um, that I would say. I watched a couple of True Talents videos and some of them are a bit weird. Um, for some reason, I don't know if he's giving Dabba his full attention right now. Maybe he's not, but just the way he was using Blight in some of his videos was um, a bit different. That's not saying it's wrong, but a bit different. He does understand the, you know, managing your gens and stuff like that with him, so that's cool. But, um, yeah, a lot of people still don't understand him, and, and, and uh, I get some pretty crazy comments. Um, you know, I get people saying he's OP, uh, massively on the OP side. I get people saying he's too weak. Um, a big one that I get with him is uh, he should be able to hit after his first rush. So as soon as he rushes, hit. I think that would be grossly OP personally. I, I don't really, I don't really see how that would help this character in this game right now because this game's at a, it's it's teetering on the toxic side as it, as it is currently. So I don't know how we would go about you know sort of making him be able to do that. I think that'd be OP. I think, I think. Uh, Having that even as an add-on, as a conversation, I think might be a little bit too much, personally. But, um, yeah, you know, just just everything around this character, it's bringing out a lot of negativity, and I don't understand. I don't see how this guy's different than any other killer that we've had. Um, I, don't, I don't know why this character, it's come to, you know, Chapter 17, where this character is the most, un, you know, misunderstood or misrepresented or whatever... It just seems to me that conversations are getting ridiculously out of hand, all based on this guy. Um, yeah, he's definitely the most um, infamous killer now, I'd say, just just out of all the... I mean, Pyramid Head is forgotten, everyone sort of get got over him and understood him and blah blah blah, and now everyone knows how to, you know, play him, go against him, use him, all that sort of thing. Death Slinger still talked about a little bit, but not too much. I had this conversation the other day about him being OP. I think that's probably a bit ridiculous. And, um, yeah, the rest is history for all the other killers. But this guy here, we're all, we're all stuck on the blight right now. Pinball, man, it's weird. Um, as far as the perks and stuff like that as well, I've had conversations with people about his base perks and how this perk is the worst perk in the game, Hex Blood Favor. I talked to a guy over on Space Coconut's channel who just thinks it's the absolute worst perk in the game, even compared to like things like Blood, you know, was it uh, Blood Shrine? Monstrous Shrine? That's it, sorry. Monstrous Shrine and things like that. And because it's made as a hex perk, it's made even worse. And I don't know, I just, I still don't see it. Um, pair this with Undying and Ruin, sorry, 
Undying and Ruin, I still think makes it a okay perk. Not the best perk in the world, but an okay perk. But at the end of the day, what's going on here? We have just received probably the three best perks since... Let's have a look. Since... I'll go with Nemesis. Since Oni. Since Oni, guys. Let's keep going back. Demigorgon was horrible. Actually, Demigorgon's Surge was okay. Throwing the Tremors was okay. We usually get one good perk per... Uh, they're okay, two of them. Usually you get one good perk-ish. Discordance. Per killer. No, uh, these two are okay. Rancor is hardly used for some reason, even though it's okay. Yeah, we've had three good perks. Like, I mean, okay, fine. If you want to, if you want to go with, if you want to go with uh, Hex Blood Favor not being very good, that's fine. I can, I can see where you're coming from there, but it's not terrible either. Pair it with other things, and it's not terrible either. Just like you pair other perks with other perks. But anyway, I think these are the three best perks we've had in a while, and I, and I don't understand how we're all getting, you know, we're all picking apart everything all of a sudden now that we've been handed the keys to the city. So I just find that really weird. The other thing I wanted to talk about is obviously the bugs in the game at the moment. Frame rate, FPS, all that stuff, lag, every, everyone's experiencing it, everyone's getting it. I have to turn my graphics on low just to have a, a very clear game with the blight, because he moves too fast. I'm running a 10, 1070 GTX. I, sh I should be fine. There should be no problems there. Um, never had this problem before, but because he's so quick, and because he, he runs through the game at that pace, it's just... I need to put my graphics on low for some reason. It makes the game run better, because this game is a bit of a mess at the moment. So don't worry, we're all receiving those problems across the board, console to... more so console. But um, definitely leaves the... Um, the, uh, we all said that we were, you know, praying and whatever that the devs would fix the frame rates moving forward because they said they would. But if you go back on their tweets, guys, they didn't really say they would. They said they're looking into it. They said they're trying to, you know, get the console up to where the PC level is. But they never actually said we have a fix for it. So if you read through the bullshit that they actually usually put on us, then you can actually see that we're nowhere near closer to getting this sort of this frame rate issue for console. Hopefully in the future, you might have to buy the next gen console just to do that though, because I have a feeling that they don't really give two shits about the console market currently as is, even though it's a lot of their revenues coming from that. <laughs> and the other thing is, is uh, just another thing I like to slap there just so you guys can see it, but more cosmetics coming out every single day, every single minute. It seems to be the Oktoberfest with a Kate outfit so you can't use the things individually as part of this set and i have no idea who back there is saying to management that we like sets we don't like sets we like to be able to customize thing uh things i guess the oni minotaur would be the only set that i can say yeah i can understand why that's a set everything else though sorry i don't really get it maybe the nurse outfit to be fair maybe for um cheryl mason but yeah they're still pushing out cosmetics there's no problems with them doing that I know it's a different team. I'm not going to get shit from that angle, but at the end of the day, it's a bit pathetic. They should be fixing the bugs, and uh, we as a community should be coming together and uh, helping this game become even greater than what it is, because I just don't understand all the confusion surrounding this chapter. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm getting shit from both ends as well. I don't understand why. I think we all just need to come together as a community and sort of move forward and try to try to help each other as best we can. I really do hope they fix the issues coming forward. It's good to see that the hill fix was fixed ages ago, but they chucked it in with the DLC for some reason. For some reason. Um, but yeah, let's try to stick together through this period. It's getting a bit, little bit ridiculous how toxic this community's getting. Uh, my community's great for the most part. I don't really have a lot of problems. I get a lot of new people coming in and just sort of laying the smack down on me, trying to get answers out of me, and I can only tell them the same thing that I've heard. But anyway, guys, that's Gim's rant this week. Sorry I didn't stream today. I'm just absolutely knackered from the weekend and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I will be here tomorrow for the stream 2 till 6. Hope to see you there. And I hope everyone has an amazing day. All right, guys, take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow.